I am Stuart and welcome to Sirenet. I wanted to quickly show you a vehicle that we've just done a recent installation on here at Sirenet in conjunction with Star Car in the state of Oregon. And this is a Ford Escape hybrid uh, gas combination vehicle. Uh, the installation of this is pretty straightforward, but it's interesting in the sense that as we're looking at vehicles that are more fuel efficient in today's world, hybrids will become a factor. And of course the weather's a beautiful day to take a look at a vehicle like this. Uh, this particular vehicle actually has a Liberty light bar mounted on the roof of the vehicle. I'll turn that on in a minute. It has a set of hideaway strobe tubes in the rear and a very straightforward switch pack on the inside. So it's a very basic but effective installation for somebody who might be working in a construction area or possibly uh, doing work at the side of the road, surveying, that kind of thing. So it's definitely something worth taking a look at. The engine's just kicked on there because the battery system needs to be charged. So let's take a quick look inside the vehicle. Folks at the installation facility, make sure everything is spotless, as undoubtedly do many installers throughout the United States and around the world. Everybody takes tremendous pride in the work that they do. Inside this area here, the stowage area, uh, they've installed a switch box and the switch box actually is a pretty straightforward one. It's actually a Sirenet Able 2 box. It's been labeled accordingly. So you have the ability to turn on the light bar as I've just done. Then we have the uh, rear strobe lights which are also switched on. And then again we have uh, side lights or AKA your alley lights which are on as well. And there's an additional auxiliary option in this particular case, the customer wanted to have that hot. So again, nice and neat, stowed away in a stowage area on the vehicle. Uh, this particular vehicle for this customer actually happens to be a leased vehicle. So they wanna make sure that when they return it, it's returned in a nice condition and there's not holes everywhere. So let's take a look at the light bar, shall we? We're taking a quick look at the light bar that was installed on this particular vehicle. It happens to be an LED Liberty light bar. The light bar itself has all of the respective optional modules filled. And of course, it's also using our e-module program. Now remember, the corners on a Whelan Liberty light bar are a full corner to meet SAE certification. Whereas the inboard modules, you have the option of either going for premium or economy, and this customer happened to pick economy. They've also put some white light included in this, is what you're seeing forward facing right now. There's also a feature to turn down the intensity. That's what the auxiliary one switch does. It turns down the intensity if you want to use that at night. This customer may take that option. So again, a great light bar. It's available on our site, on SirenNet. If you look up under the Liberty light bar area. Also, if you take a look at our amber section, you'll also be able to see this light bar as well. And we have an amber section that's specifically aimed at amber construction customers, public works customers, customers that don't really want to use uh, red and blue or all red or all blue light bars. And inside this vehicle, what they've also done is they put a set of hideaway strobe tubes in the rear. And this is a standard two pack hideaway system that comes with two hideaway bulbs. But of course, again, you can put more lighting on a vehicle if you decide to do so. This customer wanted to be pretty straightforward and simple.